Hi there. Welcome to X episode 22 of Excel TV. How you doing, Oz? I am wonderful, but it's kind of tight in here. I need Sylvia to slide over a bit. There's five of us trying to fit in here. But you know what's real is the chat party le cerise danse. Oui. When we catch away, the mice will play because Rick is gone, and we're going to cut up tonight. So don't tell Rick. All right, Sylvia. Mais bien sûr, mon frère Oz. Nice to be back here on Excel TV. Um, thanks for having me back. It's a special episode, like like an after school special. Well, We're gonna talk about not mixing PCP with Power Pivot. I don't know <laughs> after school specials. Uh, so I'm very happy to be back. Thanks for having me, and uh, we are delighted to also have Zach and Kevin. Zach and Kevin. Tell us about yourselves there, cookie yeah. shop. Well, it's I've it's good to be back. I've been here, so uh, I am Excel TV experienced. Always good to be here, Kevin. I'm his sidekick. I've never done this before. <laughs> Don't hurt me. Is on the learning curve today. <laughs> Please be gentle. I'm a virgin. <laughs> what? That's good to know. That's good to know. Well, we promise we won't hurt you. I'm your host, not Rick. Um, Rick was actually is actually out tonight. He was arrested after his spreadsheet committed an illegal error. <laughs> no, 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 okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Our hearts, our hearts and prayers go out to our good friend Rick. Yeah. But I am your host. I'm going to be emceeing. I am not Rick. <laughs> Um, we're actually going to do something a little bit different tonight. Uh, usually we do the challenge and then we do some interviews. Um, and you know, you know the whole spiel. We decided since Rick, Rick is gone, now uh, the crazy people have taken over the asylum, we're going to actually do stuff a little bit different. So that's why we called it a very special episode indeed. And we're going to actually save the challenge for next week. So make sure to go back to our Facebook and our Twitter to check out what that challenge is. Um, actually, I don't remember it, but it's very good because you can win a free... Uh, ebook that is my ebook, Advanced Excel Essentials. So make sure to check that out, and we will uh, let you know more about that through the week. So to get things started off here, we'll just kick it off. We're going to actually start with a little bit of a debate, like we did uh, a few uh, months back, and it got a little ruckus. But Bill Jellin isn't here, so we can be sure that it isn't actually going to get that ruckus. So is everyone ready for our debate? All right. Yeah, bring it. Okay, so here's, this is a question. It comes from uh, Jimmy from Arkansas. Jimmy asks, who is Excel's arch enemy? Sylvia. Who is Excel's arch enemy? I'm saying Excel's arch enemy. Excel doesn't have an arch enemy because Excel is all about the people. Excel is the Gandhi of all applications. It is all things to all people. It doesn't discriminate against whether you're a beginner or an experienced programmer, Excel is all about the love, man. So I would just say anyone who doesn't believe is the arch enemy. Oh, it's spoken like someone from L.A. That's very, very loving. <laughs> love L.A. <laughs> what about you, Oz? What do you think? I think it's those... Um Troublemaking open source people. <laughs> these these hardcore coder, anti-capitalism, <laughs> just black-hearted. Because not everybody wants is gonna write code, and that that open source world is is just the the open West. It's like reading um, Cormac McCarthy's Blood Meridian. That's the open source world, and it's okay. It's okay, you know, because you don't have a central force that can raise prices on you or move stuff around on you. It's good for that, but it's also bad if you just want to get work done. <laughs> so... Because I fooled around with Linux briefly, and um, every time I did something, I needed a patch. I needed something. 
And uh, if you like fiddling around and stuff, then listen to those open source people. But be aware, they are the arch enemy. Okay. So Zach and Kevin, what do you think? Well, I should say one of you. You guys can fight over who, no. who gets to talk. I, I don't think it's going to be much of a battle. <laughs> uh, well, good question from Jimmy. Uh, it's been Microsoft. I was good, I was going to say that it's definitely Microsoft <laughs> for the win. Sorry. <laughs> They keep shooting themselves in the foot. <laughs> Changing <laughs> version after version. Yeah. Well played. So I, yeah. I really thought someone was going to say access. No one, I mean, I just. Oh, that's so old. Yeah, they were. Not even, not even go there. Go there. <laughs> boo. Yeah, boo. I say boo. That, All right. that, that, that <laughs> is more. That is a toy. Meant to be bro bros, right? That was the original intent. I mean, well, well, you got you got people who will say that um, you know that should be in a database. You should be using access or whatever. Well, and somebody says access sucks, but it's it's the people. It's the people. It's not access. It's the people. And that's what I say. It's the people who want to have you go out into the wild west, into Cormac McCarthy's blood Rinian, fooling around with code and stuff. Mm. Oh, your graphical user interface right. in Excel and get going and tell those people to be quiet. Yeah, well, I can sum up. I can sum up Office in just like two sentences. What's there that? is Excel, and then there's these add-ins called Word and Outlook and PowerPoint <laughs> and Access. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, exactly. all right. No, so no one wants. No one wants to. All right, if you guys like Access, I mean, hey, that's your, that's your thing. You don't like PowerPoint. it. it just is PowerPoint even is a also an acceptable answer. Yeah, it has its place as a sidekick. You know, <laughs> right? Exactly. <laughs> I'd much rather go to SQL Server than Access. Yeah, tell you that. All right, so yeah. this one. Access, uh, you go into town, right? That. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, this is this is a serious one. All right, okay. Uh -oh. uh, this uh -oh. person, I have to make his name up. Stephen writes in, and he says, "Not Rick. I think p programmers on the East Coast." Do Excel better than on the West Coast? What do you think? So East Coast versus West Coast. Who's better at Excel? Definitely not Rick. This is, <laughs> this is a feud as really? old as time. I'm just saying. Really? That was the that was the best answer we had. That was the best question we it's could. Definitely get. the West Coast because there's fresher air and so they get more oxygen to the brain. Um, I'm gonna harder. have to. I'm gonna have to go with Zach on this one. I'm doubling down on that answer. Where where is the East Coast? <laughs> is it, where where is, is it? The dividing line? It's covered. It's covered in snow there's right now. Mount, there's no, some think, mountains out there. <laughs> know that. No, here's here's the thing about West Coast spreadsheets. There's just like surfboard clip art and palm trees. Just a whole bunch of nonsense so. on them. Mm -hmm. I do think so. I do think so. I'll put my. You guys don't even know. You don't even know. <laughs> Are you getting frustrated, not Rick? <laughs> I am getting frustrated. Oz, you've been huh? silent. What do you think? I don't have a thought about that because it it um I think it sets up a false dichotomy. False dichotomy. <laughs> well, what do you mean? What do we mean by better? What is it? Was the question better programmers? Just better yeah. Excel users. First of all, file under H for who cares, but I also, it, it also kind of depends on where Ohio fits in on the East Coast. I know. I was wondering about that with this question. You kind of have to, you can't ignore the mad Excel talent that comes from Ohio. It's true. It's true. Yeah. I'm yeah. going to say East Coast, even though we're technically Midwest, but we are in the East. Yes. So, so I'm a in little torn on this one, too. I know I keep I mean, giving diplomatic answers, but being from Ohio and on the West Coast now, it's a little hard for me to take sides. I would have to I mean, say I think it's going to change depending on where I'm at in America. All right. No, well, you know, see, we well, got Jeff Weir in in New Zealand and uh, Mindy Tracy in Australia. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, Deborah and um, 
and Kevin Lair base in Canada. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you you got to be international, boiling boiling it down the East Coast West Coast. Oh, oh no, no. I no. mean, keep in mind in defense of these questions, they are terrible. I mean, yeah, thank I you. Come up with <laughs> in defense of these questions, yeah. these, I these mean, questions I, are in. These questions are designed to incite a riot. That's not fair. That's, that's right. I mean, I was really thinking kind of like, you know, like people are like, food is better on the East Coast, West Coast, you know, hip hop. I was like, hey, why can't we do that with Excel? And I realized it's because no. we're not cool. Guys, yeah. When I throw this question out here, I ran through this all day. I put it before a committee. You all, if there were points, you'd all get negative points on this. No, we okay. all get positive well, points because we wouldn't take the bait. Right, exactly. Exactly. Oh, you know I'm, what? Right. Yeah. I say we all get all positive right. points. Who seconds it? Fine. There yeah. you go. I mean, there's no, yeah. there's no real points going on. Here's a, here's a, here's an even worse question. If you were stuck on a desert island and only could have one Excel oh. function, which would it be? Oh, for. F- How much battery power do I have? <laughs> one Excel function. You only get one. 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 What the hell do I want with Excel on a desert island without power? Exactly. <laughs> well, just assume you have power. <laughs> okay, I've got power. Now what? Oh. Well, I have a satellite. Can I trade it stuff? in for a satellite phone? Who writes this stuff? <laughs> mine, where are these mine, questions coming from? I don't know who wrote this. Mine, mine, mine is going to be... Oh, go ahead. Well, mine is going to be char... And then I would uh, change it got to, to um, dingbats or whatever it was and find some helicopter symbol and get out of there. <laughs> All right. So for the win, again, hyperlink so I can email someone's dumbass to come get me and talk that out. <laughs> That's a good way to do it. Okay. <laughs> One person is all I need. Woo-hoo, he's on my team. Now how, what about uh, you, Sylvia? Yeah. So, could I do a nested function of char and rand? No, you gotta pick one. So I could just, you could char, I could just, you could char okay. a char. Char, you know, you char. char. <laughs> I, think I don't know, rand between. And I'll just sit there and play with numbers all day, because the hyperlink, <laughs> Zach funny. already took the hyperlink. So. It's a, I actually like the rand. I really... It's a time killer. Oh, I, think I, I know. Index. Can I use a VBA function? You didn't specify. Sorry, right. I have oh. to. We'll allow uh, it. I, I'm, I would, I'm gonna go with text to speech, because then okay. somebody could just be talking to me all day. And will you name it Wilson? Because that's what I'm naming it. Wilson to talk to you forever <laughs> and ever. Makes so it sounds Bob. like resignation. <laughs> Nobody, for index. You know, Nobody for index. Nobody for index. Anyone? Sure. What are you going to do with Anyone? index? Index can do everything. <laughs> That's it. Index. Uh, and then you're gonna you're gonna go, you know, and then you you say um, index and the. Uh, okay, so you say you find, you find my uncle in Ohio, and then it comes back with his address, and then there you are with an address. Then yeah, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Wow. All right, here's a real uh, question. Really this is oh, we have a real question. question. Okay. This is from Clippy from California. Okay, so say you have a big database project and the person has Excel, you know, your client has Excel 2013, and they're wondering, Power Pivot or, or, or Access, I should say they have Office 2013. So you want a database and they want to do graphics, so would you just... What you know right now, would you recommend Access still or would you do Power Pivot? Or any of the Power BI stuff? Is it Access 2013? It could be. Sure, why not? And anything but Access 2013. <laughs> anything but. <laughs> why is it so bad? What's so bad about 2013? Guys. Uh, I access, if it was Access 2003, maybe. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm, I'm How about you, Oz? <laughs> I would be curious about what kind of a database it is um, because you might be able to just do a data model and not fool with Power Pivot, depending on how big it is. Um, 
that that's what I would think. And if it wound up being too intricate, too much, then you got to talk to somebody else. That's not my world anymore. So you won't do access at all then? I mean, yeah, you won't do access at all. Well, for me, I don't know access, and I have not had any compelling reason to do it because my clients they might have say. 50,000 rolls of data, okay, and it's very easy to get it connected through the data model, you know, so um, that's been my world, and, and it works, Excel has worked, and I have not, you know, I hear about people who have billions of rolls of data, that's never been me, not yet. All right, how about you, Sylvia? Well, obviously, it depends on the circumstances, to Oz's yeah. point, because uh, there, there could be a whole lot of compelling reasons for either one, but all other things being equal, I'd probably go with Power Pivot just, you know, for the cool factor of, and to be able to have an excuse to promote my Power Pivotini cocktail at the happy hour after we launch the, the product. Mm -hmm. So, right. I mean, really, it's, it's, it's hard to say in, unless you have all the yeah. requirements in front, and there could be a million reasons to, yeah, I might, I don't really do access either, but it might make sense for me to, I'm actually faced with this very problem, it might make sense for me to outsource that piece, and, you know, I could still build the front end, or, it's just, it's, it's, it's a bad question, I'm sorry, caller <laughs> from, where, where's yeah, the caller any good from? Question? Let's get a good. This question. is this is very. You guys are being very rude to the question committee who came up with this stuff. <laughs> the question um, committee. That's it's right. Okay. That's right. All right. So here's this is a real a real question that was actually sort of put forth uh, to us when we were doing um, the MVP showcase. This this guy, one of the OneNote MVPs, came up and said, "OneNote is more powerful ex than Excel." What? Agree or disagree? <laughs> he said one one guy said one one guy one of the OneNote uh, MVP said that OneNote was more powerful than Excel. So I'd let you guys have at it. What do you think? Um, what's what's his definition of no. power? They're two very different. I don't things. know. We, we, couldn't, we couldn't get him to explain it. <laughs> um. <clears throat> Well, I'm gonna say I'm gonna call BS. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Big BS. <laughs> yeah. No. It's a. What was brought Someone to doesn't us. know how to use Excel. Yeah. You remember this, Oz? I don't remember that. I think I would have remembered that because I would have, you know, done like on South Park when they call shenanigans and everybody goes against their brooms. <laughs> <laughs> there was just some. It was. I, he was. I think he was German. He said that he's like one note is way more powerful than Excel. Fine, huh. you know what? Yes, let, let him think so, that. I don't know what yeah. that means. What does that mean? What does that even mean? Come on, let's, come on. Get, let's, let's is get he some, a Second get, Amendment guy? Well, come on. You know, so, like that? I think guns are more powerful than one note. Yeah. How about that? <laughs> dig, how about, down how about, bottom, <laughs> dig down in the bottom of the sack and get a good question. <laughs> Actually, that was it. We are let's done. Let's that one I'm out, I'm, We're out of... And that is it. We are out of questions. So... I'm going to hand it over to you, Sylvia. Take wow, it away. well, thank you, callers, for the uh, amazing, amazing uh, debate round there. <laughs> Tune in for, for next episode, guys, because you want more of that. Two Tuesdays from now. All right, um, who is going? Okay, so I need to share my screen. And uh, here we go. So. Share. Does everybody see Excel on yep. my screen share yep. here? Okay. Well, so um, <clears throat> we're going to try something a little new here on Excel TV. Uh, a little something we call, and we'll, we'll get into the rules in a minute, just to introduce here, a little something called, wait, wait, don't Excel me. Why is this not to, uh, mm -hmm. why is there a delay on my screen share here, people? Oh, I don't know. It's uh. <laughs> Technical you, uh, difficulties. Increase the. Uh, why does Bill Gates get the screen? Share. Screen? You, didn't, you didn't pay Comcast to get you better broadband speed. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> wait, wait. Don't excel me. And there is Jordan with his 
his uh, Advanced Excel Essentials book. Uh, yep. Looking good there, Jordan. Nice, nice suit you've got there. So let's let's talk a little bit about the rules of the game. Okay, so this is a uh, trivia game, and wow, this is going to be really tough if I have to keep resharing my screen. Holy crap! Okay. Um, all right, so you guys can see the the rules here, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the rules are. All right, so there's Oz. Uh, Oz, uh, tell us about the rules of the game. Keep it clean, no cheating, and have fun. Uh, but what is my team name? So you guys are a team, Zach and Kevin. And um, Oz and Jordan, you are also going to be a team. So um, Zach and Kevin, pick a number from 1 to 13. Four. Are you guys seeing a little... Four? Are you seeing a little user form on my... No. Nope. Uh, we're not. We're not. Um, not reshare it. You reshare it, uh, not as a full screen or a, a, as a desktop instead, or one of the two. Whatever you did. Um, okay. Share so share way. as. Um, you got to share, share the full screen. Well, so it only gives me the option to share various screens. Um, I don't see a desktop option. Sorry, no, tech, can we put up the no. tech? Because a mistake is say if you have it share only Excel. And then, yeah. Right. So you'd so, have to. Uh, but how do I do my oh, screen too? Maybe, maybe. So now, okay. So now you see the little yep, form, yep. not user form, but oh, little. Yeah. Okay. So, so your see, number was four, ball. correct? Yep. Yep. All right. This is your last opportunity to pick your own trivia team name before we let the system pick one for you. Winner, right. winner, chicken dinner. Going once, going twice. <laughs> I don't know. Your team name is Big Data Big Deal. Okay, so you, you are team Big Data Big Deal. Um, right. Oz and Jordan, pick a different number, not four. Any other number between one and thirteen? Well, Eleven. J Gold Rush. How how ironic is that? Okay, so J Gold Rush versus Big Data Big Deal. All right, so uh, the first round. We are gonna uh, we're gonna learn a few things about early Excel, and of course, one member of the panel had a hand in writing uh, the book spreadsheet at 25. So it might be a little unfair because he might know all the answers, although he's looking very nervous right now. So maybe he maybe he's forgotten a few things since that time. But um, most of these questions <laughs> are regarding kind of like early Excel, precursors to Excel, and you know things that happened uh, before Jordan was born. Okay, so um, who can name? And the first team to shout out, I know it gets to. Well, actually, both teams. Uh, how are we going to do this? So, um, big data, big deal. It name looks like it could run to that '70s show. Name these two yeah. prominent historical yeah. figures yeah. in Excel history. Boston. Um, make this a two-point round. Is that, is that Bill Jelen and no <laughs> Bill Manville? No. No. Uh, <laughs> it, no, they're the guys that. Did, they were, I know. I don't remember is that Bricklin and Philstrom. Yeah. Is that your yeah, final Dan, answer? In Brooklyn. And now, see, you, you, okay, Oz said it first, so you can't just take Oz's answer. I, well, maybe my answer? I, yeah, my official Oz. answer is what Oz said. <laughs> 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 what was the question? Who are those guys, or, what's, or what are they doing? Who are yeah. they? Who yeah. are they? What are their names? Yeah, I, I remember Brooklyn saying now that he said it, but whatever, my second Brick, name Brick is Lynn the answer is, that Oz said. Brooklyn is your final answer. Sure. Okay. All right, so that might be one point, but it's not going to be two. Oh. Oz and Jordan, final answer, please. Uh oh, I have no idea. Brinklin and Filstra. <laughs> the answer is Dan Brinklin and Bob Frankston. So okay. as far as I'm concerned, that is one point for uh, for Team uh, Big Data, Big Deal. All right, and uh, that's going to be a zero for Team... Uh, Jay Gold Rush. All Wait right. I was the first one to say it. And we oh, thank you. All right, big, fine. Big data, big deal. Thanks you. Know you know what? Okay, yeah, Mr. <laughs> Underinflated Football. All right, so <laughs> one, one point. One point. Oh, it had to come up. <laughs> Dan 
Franklin and Bob Frankson. All right, so there you go. Um, now, who are these okay, next again? question. They were the fathers of the spreadsheet. They invented, I can't say it yet, but it'll come up later in the game. They invented okay. something that was a precursor yes. to Excel. All right, all right. Um, we can't three. give away other answers. The computer. All right, so <clears throat> question. In the 1960s, Berkeley professor Robert Matisich used what programming language to build what-if style budgeting applications? So it was a 1960s Basic? version of a what-if style programming. Was What was the programming language behind it? This Fortran. is from the spreadsheet at 25 book, people. Fortran. Is that your final answer, team? What is, what is Big old rush. Word? Okay. Let's say basic. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Only basic. It's going to be Fortran. I'm going <laughs> to... Let's say, All let's right, say basic. Fortran. That, that's big data, big deal. I guess it's Fortran. I don't the know. answer is Fortran. Oh, Look at that. And it has the in the first people. place, Oz. Okay, I have to put your team names up here. You guys are... Uh, what are you guys again? There you are, Jay Gold Rush. You like some of these other names? So you've mad I you was going to say, those are some good names. Sexy Accountant Carpool is a popular one. That does. Dex Dex Dex. Box. Um, <laughs> you are the big <laughs> data big deal. Not the dirty data dancers, although that was a pretty good one as well. Many of these were rejected <laughs> cocktail names, so you guys can, we can have some fun with those later. All right. Um, the table slicers. <laughs> okay. All right. In 1975, this Texas instrument. Oh, I had one of those. Caught how oh, much did it cost? Bucks. It's a it was guess. dollars <laughs> It's a wild $99. guess. <laughs> Obviously, one of the <clears throat> ancestors of Excel was handheld calculators. All right, which we had next to our graph paper and our pencils and erasers. So. The year is 1975. It's one of the first Texas instrument calculators. Again, also from the spreadsheet at 25 book. What was the retail cost of one of these bad boys? Let's say 120. You're going with 120? Okay. Um, yeah. Oh, nice. hey, what are we rush. Going with? I'm thinking about $75. Okay. That seems. That's like how much. Uh, that's how much a TI-83 costs today. Maybe maybe we should say $119.99. Okay. No, let's go. We're, we're changing our answer to $100. $100. <laughs> All right. $100.01. You were right last time. Go with what you, what you we'll were saying. See. We'll see. So Big Data, Big Deal says, what's your final answer? $75. 100. $100. Wait, who's Big Data, Big Deal? We are. That's, That's us. She's asking That's us. $100.01. Awesome. $100. One cent. Yeah. $101. That's okay, right. Yeah. On J Gold Rush, your final answer. Seventy-five dollars. I was gonna say like two hundred, but how much you, you gotta say pick I was? one. You can't uh -huh. have both. No, I, I think I think seventy-five dollars because I two hundred. No. We're gonna go with odds because he was right last time. Well. All right. And the final answer is. Fifty. <sighs> what? No way. Fail. <laughs> it was in a book you wrote, Zach. So I, I didn't I, make it up. You know what? That's <laughs> not right. To so I, I'm bought afraid. One of those. I bought one and it was over a hundred bucks. <laughs> to be fair, I never read the whole book before I submitted my tip. So Okay. So that's I'm gonna do a little research. We're coming back to this one, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. I bought one. I did. <laughs> I did. All right, so that's zero for you and one for you. I want to make sure that I got... Okay, so you guys missed the Fortran one. I just want to make sure I did my scorekeeping correctly. Oh, so right now, right now, it's a dead heat, right? All mm -hmm. right, 1.4. All right, this, this question has up to four points. All right, you can score up to four points on this question. Because we all love the great Chandu, I know we've all studied this history of Excel graph at, in great detail. And as a matter of fact, if you are a dedicated follower of Excel TV, you are going to be all over this shiz right here because I went through it on episode 8. So, uh, two events missing from this timeline. Uh, 
something happened in 1990, something happened in 1993. So you give me as much detail as you can, uh, including the version of Excel, and what was, and just give me a couple ideas of what was the big deal about those particular years for Excel. Uh, up to four points possible for getting the version correct and also the kind of major feature uh, that, that made that release a big deal. Okay, so the talk amongst but yourselves will give you I a little... I didn't use a spreadsheet until 1997 was the first year I ever no. used a spreadsheet. When was the I, first time you ever that. read a book? Hey, I, think uh, I, know, I think I know... The 93 one. Okay. You think you know the 91? I got it. Uh, 93 was uh, introduced multiple sheet workbooks and VBA. What do we go with? I don't, I, I don't know. I was going to say, <laughs> now that actually is a way better answer than I was going to say. I was going to say 93 um, introduced the office assistant. Okay. Jay and then... Nineteen ninety wow. was version three. Yeah, I wait. Ninety was version three. Hmm. Uh, maybe ninety three introduced VBA. I don't know. I can't take. I don't yeah. want to take their answer. I'd rather just take it off. That was the big one. Ninety and ninety. So nobody has anything to say about nineteen ninety. I think yeah, uh, did they increase the row size? Did they, did they How about that? One? I can't all we, we can't all talk at once. What was that, Jordan? Did they increase the row size. No. Uh, in ninety. Charting engine. Something charting bigger. Engine. Something that would be on a Chandu timeline. Like so. Notice in ninety seven he talks about user forms validation. Give me table. Is that your final answer? I don't know. What do you think? All right. I'll take it. Why not? Let me guess. Charting. Okay. So you're right. saying in 1990 it was pivot tables? No way. Is that your answer, Oz? The, sure. What about you, Big Dad? A big deal? You saying charting? I'm guessing. I have no charting idea. charting for 1990. Version three, whatever version three had. Yeah. <laughs> Charts. So is not, 93 was definitely multiple sheets in VBA. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see. All right, so let's see what happened in 1990. Dun, 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 dun. 1990, Excel 3.0 and 3D charts. Okay, so that is one point for Big Data, Big Deal so far. All right, big and data, big deal. so far a big fat nada for Jay Gold Rush. In 1993. <laughs> Excel 5 with VBA. So, I'm afraid that is going to be uh, four points for Big Data Big Deal because they got the version right. Well, you guys well, what you okay. All right. Got All right. Zero. All right. Hey, so it's it's early. It's early. It's early. Look at you got you got. Although there's some other rounds coming up where there's many points to be had. Yeah, but so we know how that's going to go. Oh. All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, moving right along. What is this? Multiple on, choice. Multiple <laughs> choice. Oh, man. A through F. Obviously, I threw in a few that... What dish? <laughs> what is this a screenshot of? Uh, I want to say... Busy count. B. I'm going to say B. Yeah. We're, gonna, we're, yeah. we're saying B. Everybody's going with B. Nobody's going with F. <laughs> Power pivot. Power uh, pivot. Ah. Big data. Not big dog. deal. It's busy count. Everybody's going with B. Yeah. Everybody mm. would be right. So everybody gets one point for question one point five. All right. One to one. Okay. Seventy. Oh, question or uh, one point six is a fun one. One point six is a fun one. So here's how one point six works. This is what we call a quick fire challenge. I'm gonna leave this up on the screen, 
And the reason it's a quick fire challenge is when I click this little clock here, you're going to get 60 seconds to match that Excel guy against these names. So you've got six things to keep track of. You may want to jot it down on a spreadsheet or whatever, one through six. That's Each true. one of them gets a letter. Or potentially oh, an A yeah. if they're not pictured. Okay? So uh, if there's more that. pictures in here than you need. <laughs> oh. <laughs> more so pictures than names. So some of them might be nobody, some of them might, you know. So basically you have to describe, you have to pick a letter or an NA for one through six. And when the clock is up, I will let you know. And then I want each team to read off their answers for me. And uh, here we go. Okay. Uh, all right, Oz. All right. Charles uh, Manson. <laughs> F G. I can't wait. Gotta get the screen up. Oh, okay, so so how are we gonna go about this, Jordan? All right. Um, We're just gonna use your answers. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> Can you? So I can't see right. the screen. Uh, Sylvia, Sylvia's you gotta talk. talk. You gotta talk, Sylvia. Uh, so that was thirty you seconds. Um, okay, so that was thirty. Here it goes. One. This is your. Does anybody have the answer yet? Any well, answers no, yet? We couldn't you see need it. Another thirty I'm seconds. Not, you can't not. see it. It, it was on uh, Oz and and not Rick because their mics were mic'd up, oh. so it didn't show your screen. All you right. gotta like hum tune. I clicked oh. on. Oh. I clicked All on right. the box so that it stays up. Okay. Oh, yeah, All right. Here we go. No, one more. No. One more round. No. I'm gonna. Nobody no. talk. <laughs> Only Different I get game. to talk. Yeah. Uh, here we go. Yeah. Another round. Match that Excel okay, yeah. guy. Um, well, we I'm gonna go with, oh, no, hold on. Hold on. Four, Soundtrack three, from okay. 30 Rock um, has some great quick fire three, music uh, for Wait, Wait, three, Don't three, Excel three, Me. Three, All right, we've got three, six Excel guys. Three, and three, eight three, really? I um, are the pictures. That isn't all the text for A. Okay, music's over. That means we need an answer from each team. Who would Perfect. like to shout out their answers first? And no cheating. I want to see hands up. You can't change your answer based on what the other team said. So who won the last game or the last round? You both did. <coughs> I'm trying. To, who wants to go first? Let's see. Uh, let's see who's ahead in the score. We've got seven versus three. So we're going to let... Um, because I'm making the rules up as we go along, we're going to let Jay Gold Rush give the first answer. One through six. Well, That's the right losing off. team for all of our listeners. Get to it. I've got... Um, for I've number got, one. Um, Charles Shimoni. A famous Hungarian and a famous Microsoft... Person. Okay, I'm going to say um, H. You're going to say H, okay. Yeah. H. All right, what? so uh, H. Uh, how about Doug Clunder, my famous Microsoft programmer? Jordan, you got anything here? Um, I'm going to go with A. Looks like it, it looks like that guy would be a programmer. Okay. How about <laughs> I don't. None of these people look like Bob Umlis to me. I guess maybe oh, B sort of looks like Bob Umlis. Well, it could be. Remember, you can B, choose NA for not pictured. No, B. Oh, I'm thinking. I mean, that kind of looks like Bob Umlis from the '90s. I mean. <laughs> right. I'm thinking both B and C. <laughs> I don't know about C. <laughs> We're gonna go with B. You're gonna go with B. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, this is cracking my shit up. All right, Dan Brinklin. One of the inventors of VisiCalc. He may or may not be pictured. Oh, come on. G or H? <laughs> uh, You're going with G? G or, no, G, I guess. Yeah, we have to go with okay. G. All right. How about Bob Frankston, the other inventor we ran out of, of VisiCalc? We ran out of old people on here. Let's just say N.A. <laughs> <laughs> You're going with N.A. on that one? Okay. Yeah. Oz, All right. Tell me if you don't like it. No, no. I think I, Steve Ballmer. Okay, so so six is I. I yeah. And uh, D is Uncle Fester. <laughs> yeah. 
And, uh, or it could be Steve Ballmer. Does any that has anyone be. seen those two guys in the same room at the same time? No. No, because well, Uncle Fester is dead. <laughs> now, is F. Charles Manson? Yes. That's <laughs> the only sure that's Doug Charles Manson. He could be Doug Clunder. Okay, all right. Do you get where Probably. I was going with this game? Like, this could be Doug Clunder, or maybe this could be, or maybe this is Bob Umless. Or I think the bottom is Charles Manson. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> well, that's why I said there's some there's some in there to throw you off. Okay. All right. So how do we do? These guys look alike. All right. So those are your answers. Let's see. Uh, all right. So that's um, totally making this up as we go along. I need another uh, round of these from Team Big Data Big Deal. So. Okay. You tell me if you feel differently about any of these. One. Yes, we do. Okay. C. One is you're going with C. Okay. How about number two, Doug Clunder? What'd you pick for him? A. With A. Okay. How about Bob Umless? B. Okay. How about Dan Brinklin? G. All right. How about Bob Frankston? H. H. Okay. You're going with H. And Steve Ballmer? I. I. Okay. Let's. Take a look at the answers. Two, dun, right. da, da, dun. We're gonna have to do a little quick math here. The top Dude, one was okay. We got so four right. we got four you guys got that right. one wrong. Yeah, got that one right. That one right. That one wrong. Dan Franklin is not pictured. Bob Frankston is pictured. We won. You guys won this round, I'm afraid. So, yeah, I want to uh, read see that But there's up to six in. points possible, so you get you get one for each correct answer. So, Team J Gold got one, two, three. You guys got C A B. You got that one wrong. And you got that one wrong. And you get you guys got four. Okay, so uh, four for Big Data, Big Deal, and three for. Team J Gold Rush. Nice job, everyone. All, All right. right. It is time for round two, the Smarty Pants round. Ding, 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 ding. All right. No open spreadsheets allowed for this next question, right? I don't want anybody cheating here, okay? So you're going to have to just guess as best you can in your heads. Or you can use paper, just no spreadsheets because that's cheating. And if you cheat, you suck. All right. So, what does that formula yield? I want you to pick a number, agree on the number with your teammate, and shout it out whenever you're ready. We'll give you a little little time on the clock. Another answer. You got your answer? Yeah. When do we What's your answer? wait? One. One. Like yep. one? One. Okay. Um, I don't think that's right. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. Those are columns. Rose. Is that your final answer? Pick a number. All we have to do is pick no, a number. Rose, higher hold on. No, we're going to change our answer. So let's go with two. Rose no, we're going to go with two. Because <laughs> all we have to do is pick one higher, right? We're going to know we're changing. No, no I, we're not. All you have to do is be close. Let me do something real quick. A, A. And Hold then, on, I have then, an idea here. And then columns uh, one to one see. is all the columns. So it's all the columns. Oh, it's the other way. It's, it's, the, count, it's, the, oh. it's the count of the columns times the count of the rows. So how many, one million. If anyone one million, out there one watching TV wants to chime in. One to the millionth times one to the millionth? How many, how many columns are there? All right, I got, I got an and answer. This, by the way, oh. this would be for Excel. 256 times a million. Not talking That's Excel 2003 weird. here. What would that formula yield? Is row is, is the row. Rows is an array formula, though. It returns an array. Oh, but non-array enter wouldn't it only return one? <laughs> okay. So the, is uh, this an array wait, enter formula got, or not? I have some here. Okay, what do you got? I have, let's say 1.056 1. 1. billion. No, that's not right. Maybe let's say million. It's got to be somewhere up there. One million? I'm going to stay with one. Yeah, let's, let's go with one million. We're holding fast. I'm, well, wait. It's 16 million rows right now, right? I don't want to... 
So. All right, you know how we're oh, gonna. Oh crap! Do this? Wait, no, that's not right. It's, it's all right, it doesn't matter. I'm pretty sure he's got. He's, the close, the team rose, whose answer rose. is closest to the correct answer wins one stinking point. All right, oh, okay. so I'm just gonna type this <laughs> formula into cell A1 here, uh, and I we're gonna up find mouth. out what it what it what about, reveals. What here. about B B2? Oh, look at that! I wonder which one is closer. <laughs> oh, I told you. It's the number of rows, not the. Because you know, it's the evaluator. Yes. Rows <laughs> is the number yeah. of rows in that array, A through A, and columns is the hey. number of columns, sixteen thousand three eighty-four times. Right. So, and then the number of rows is just the number of rows in a worksheet. So there you go. You get 17 million blotty blah. So one point play? for Jake Gold, Rush, and zero. Billion. We got a big deal. One billion dollars. No, it's not one. We're still ahead. I'm so sorry. We we have some fabulous prizes, I guess, for the losers. All right. Yes. Uh, <laughs> what Excel function? Next round. We know this one. Oh, what Excel that. function can be used to replicate alternate row shading effects? With conditional formatting. So before you can we had with multiple functions. This oh this one is uh, not a multiple choice because somebody ran a, I ran out of time quite honestly. But do we uh, get more I, points if we give you more functions though? <laughs> oh, there's more than one crap. I oh, guess yeah, I'll take any cute. any one that would. I'm looking for one function. Mod. Um, yeah, I'm going to say mod. 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 You're going Mod's my first mod? choice. Is yeah. everybody going with mod? Yeah. See, that was an easy one. Everybody went with the easy one. All right, so one point for each of you on round. About, I'll one. go with a different one. Is even. How about that? What version are we talking? <laughs> <laughs> next question. All right, so here's the here's the way the next question is going to work. Now I'm thinking. I had originally thought you would send it to me in the chat window, but maybe we can do this rapid fire where you got, but you got to spit them out. T and oh, you guys right. have to like, right? So we're gonna start with the uh, team who's the underdog. They're gonna name. You can't use yourselves. You're gonna name an Excel MVP, and then it goes right to the next team. And this first team to start going, uh, 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 you lose. Right? No, okay. No. Okay. So how are you going? Everybody how are you down with this game? Or would you prefer to just IM it to me? I think it's I like better if we go rapid fire. Let's go rapid fire. Okay, so um, Team J Gold. Bill Jellen. Oh. Mm hmm. Bill Jellen. Okay. Bob team, Umless. you got a big deal. Bob Umless. Okay. Me to Tracy. Oh. Chris Smith. Shandu. Jacob Hildebrand. Oh, all right. Damn it. Yeah, that one's gonna go to that one has to go to them. You're not allowed to do it. Kevin Jones. <laughs> uh, you can't use yourself. Make that a big deal. Name it. No, it's him. It's him. Wait, who's who's whose turn is it? It's uh, big. Not a big deal. Pause. Oh, all right. It's my turn. Uh, Deborah. John Acampora. Okay. Mike Gervin. Oh. Bill Manville. Bill who? I don't know. Bill Manville. Manville. All right, go. Team J. Gold. Bill Bob Phillips. Oh. Uh, uh, one at a time. Oh, he stole mine. Big Dan Carl. Dan Carl. Dan Carl. Dan C. That's what I'm going to call him. Wait, so Ken isn't up there yet. It's right. Jan Carl. Jan. 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 Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, Gold. So we'll go with Ken, because that didn't go up there. Big data, big deal. Roger Grovier. Roger G. J. Gold. Uh, Huey. The French, the French guy. You, know. you can't make shit up. No, <laughs> his name is Alan Huey. His name's Huey on Shandu. Okay. Oh, that guy. All right. Uh, Hui. I thought it was Hui. 
I don't know. Uh, do, do Daniel don't Ferry. Know who we're talking about. Give me Daniel another. Ferry. Wait, is Daniel Ferry still an MVP? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he is. Well, we're gonna. Yeah, we may have to confirm that if there, if it, if it comes down to Oz. like a one point spread. Oz, you gotta cr bust one out right now. Five. Come on, Oz. Okay. Uh, did we get another one yet? Three. Two. Oh. One. Oh. I'm afraid um, that big data, big deal. Wait, now hold on. Let's check if Daniel Ferry is still. Uh, Ingeborg. Yeah. Uh, I just won. John Peltier. <gasps> How that, can we uh, miss John? Tom Hurtis. Did we say Tom? No. Tom Hurtis. getting out of hand. Yeah, Tom. Yeah. Um, Philippe uh, Gilberto. Um, Rory uh, Archibald. Ray. They're still going? Uh, yeah, they're just, they're just yeah, trying to rub it in our face. Uh, Hold on a second. We're gonna check if Daniel Ferry. Um, I right, check if Daniel Ferry is still in him. But you can't check. Then you're cheating. You're gonna see the whole. Well, we've already list. lost if he isn't. All right, you've I mean, already lost. Okay, so you've lost this round. Uh, uh, well, like, and so we get, we get bonus points for past MVPs. <laughs> no, you don't. No. Uh oh. Right, so. Can we revisit that stupid calculator question? Because <laughs> I got. I'm con I'm contesting the answer. <laughs> The calculator? We're ahead. We're ahead. It's, in the, I, it's in the spreadsheet at 25 book. Oh. You have to take that bill then. Well, it's wrong. Oh, I got an email from Bill Jellin saying they did not enable the Q&A window. It's 6 yep. million cells. We don't. Let's see Six here. It's cells. not. It is not Four enabled million. yet. I don't even know what he's talking about. Oh, wait. What? Daniel Ferry is correct, so we lost this one. All right, so you guys got to keep going. Oh, right, the, so, the Q&A window is not enabled. It's not enabled. So, so I'm afraid that we're just going to have to call that one for big data, big deal, and we're just going to do one to nothing because it got all... Uh, are, are you the one that has to enable the chat window? It has to be enabled uh, before we even start this. Oh. Yep, nothing we can do about right. it while live. All right, so um, that is that is it for the MVP round. Nice effort to all of you. Now, oh man, I didn't even get to. Oh, man. here we go. I didn't that's get your, to Liam Bostic. Here you go. All right. Yeah, that's your. All uh, right, so we are doing just a couple more questions here on pivot tables. Okay, so Q and A. Uh, so who is dubbed the father of the pivot table? A. By Bill is that who? What was that? Who was that? A. I missed that. Is that Zach? A is an alpha. Big Dad of Big says A. J Gold. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> A. A. I thought, do you're we're going to go with A. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're both going with A? Yes. Yes. Why not? Well, if that's the oh, case, not, then all I have to say to you is. <laughs> You are both so wrong. And if you had read uh, Pivot Table for Data Crunching, or whatever it's called, <laughs> I know Bill Jellin's out there watching. If they had read your book, Bill, they would know it's Tito. I have it at home. Uh, All right, so that's a big so. zero for both of you. How if I would have known days. I was going to be quizzed, I would have studied. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you would have studied, yeah. Right. Tito Puente. <laughs> Sounds like a baseball player. No. <laughs> he's a, he's a oh my god, no, wait, that's not the right answer either. But you guys oh, didn't get it right. No, 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 no. Alright, no, you didn't get it right either, but it wasn't hold on a second. Please hold. I had the wrong answer, but you so did you, so there. Uh please hold. That works. Yeah, it was all Oh my god, technical difficulties. We're back in early Excel. I was just trying to there we go. That's what I was trying to do. It's actually, it's actually Pito Salas. All right. So, if you have Pito, read, Pito. yes, but father Pito. of the pivot table. So All the right. host loses um, a point. <laughs> so that means you probably you may not know the answer to this next one. Uh, which company famously takes credit for the invention of the pivot table? Definitely Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> Notice. 
<laughs> so what are we going to say, Oz? IBM or Lotus? I'm saying Lotus. But Lotus isn't... Okay. All right, we'll go with Lotus. So <laughs> Jay Gold is going with Lotus. We're going to do it. All right, you're going with A. A. All right. And big data, big deal. I think I will lose. <laughs> we will double down for A as an alpha. For A as an alpha. Okay, well, yeah. take, we guess what? You them. are, it's, it's Lotus. <laughs> it, should, it should say A Lotus. I mean, yep. what do you expect when I developed yeah. it five minutes ago? All right, it is, the correct answer is Lotus, so... Nice yep. job to both teams. You yep. both get one point for that. Really and we are down to our final question. Three point three. Okay. <laughs> Before the term pivot table was invented, the project was originally called what? This is where you get, since I didn't have time to come up with multiple choice clever responses, I thought I would leave it up to your creative genius. Um, if you blow me away with a really funny answer, you'll get extra points, but otherwise you have to get the right answer. Um, what, what was the pivot table called before it was called a pivot table? There was a name for this project when it was being developed. OLAP. Definitely not the hippie hippie shake. Same. Definitely not. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Nobody knows. We, we, we got can't the lep even take we, a guess. We got the leprechaun. All right, I'll give you a clue. Half, a clue. I'll give you a clue. I'll give you a clue because since nobody knows, half of this answer is lotus. It was the lotus something flower? or another. The lotus no, what? Flower. flower. Calyx. Lotus. One, two, three. Think about what. Think about how a pivot table is flexible and adaptable and on the fly kind of stuff. Just shouting stuff out there. Just riffing yeah. off the John Shay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nobody knows. Who's well, just laughing? That's That's, <laughs> is that your answer? Notice Dolomite. What? Dolomite. Dolomite. Lotus? Huh? Ooh, lotus flower. Something with a flower. Lotus? Lotus, lotus power. Lotus, lotus power. Go. Big data, big deal. Lotus 1, 2, 3, lotus. go. Lotus pivot. Lotus pivot, lotus. Lotus pivot? Is that your sure. answer? <laughs> <laughs> I, we got nothing. You got all right, nothing. you guys got nothing. You guys, you guys are all well, terrible. It's a shaft. Like John it's called Lotus Improv. It was called Lotus Improv, Improv before it was called I I was trying to give you some clues and nobody you was were clear. well you yeah. you, you so like clues. Like, did it's, I not say riffin and you know I I was saying there. stuff All right those were good hits at zero So I wanna, who knows who won without without me even adding a total oh, row Pick me Let's pick me it out. But I like the I like the total row Oh, That's okay. Well, Better luck next time. Better luck next time, Team Congratulations to Big Data, Big Deal. I want to revisit that that calculator. Can you show me that calculator again? I have the book okay, ahead. Where was the calculator? Uh, there you go. I can see what. Got, uh, that's not okay. First of all, that's not a TI-10. That's an what? SR-10. That's well, an SR okay. thing. All right. And, you want to and it retails for 150 bucks. No, that's different. There's no. Not sorry, according to. It's different. What? Not according to the spreadsheet at 25. Oh, that was 1975. It was no solar in 75. What? That's an SR 10. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. Well, well let's see. You're, you're saying, oh, wait a minute. You're, well, hold. Everybody hold. That calculator is called an Every, SR10. It retails for 150 bucks. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Just, just hold on a second here. Um, you're saying it's 150? Yes. It retails for 150. I have proof right here. Look. Okay. <laughs> and you know what? You're apt, you're going to be right because here we have. Um, a message from uh, you guys can see I'm really bad at email um, 
because I have thousands. Uh, let's see. Bill Jelen, 150 in 1975. The layout guy must have screwed it up. Right? Yeah. Oh, so okay. I, all right. Wow. So right. wow. But I, I, that is not my fault because I pulled <laughs> it out of the spreadsheet at 25 book. So, Bill, I know you're watching because I'm getting your emails here. So, you're welcome for spotting, <laughs> spotting a typo in that book. All right, so the answer should be 150. Did you say it? Uh, so that means um, you, got an extra you are point. actually having to score that way. Well, you guys won anyway. 14 to 8. 15 baby. to 8. Huh, 15 to 8? Yeah. Oh, we crushed them. Crushed. Yeah, you, you crushed us. You, you <laughs> we love you, Doc. You definitely <laughs> killed us. Even though the question sucked, we love you. <laughs> I blame right. Jimmy for I, I can only aspire to be as good as the questions <laughs> yeah. that came in from our viewers. All right. That's, that's anyway, right. That's, well, thank you all right. for playing. Thank you all for playing, and be sure yeah. to um, join us for the next exciting episode of Wait, Wait, Don't Excel Me. Uh, <laughs> thank thank you for that, fun. Sylvia. So <laughs> now we're going to move on to the news section. Um, Oz, take it away. All right. Um, one thing that I want to share, um, let me get this up here. Okay, I'm going to share. Mm. <laughs> Get the right thing here. Okay, so you can uh, see my screen now. Uh, yeah. Yep, yeah. You sure can. Yep. So I want to uh, just share Kevin Lairbase's video from uh, determining the closest Super Bowl games. That was a really good video to watch. It's about five and a half minutes, and I think it's great because it does not get into you know Excel detail, but I like how he thinks through the problem of how do you determine close game. So um, that's my news. I, I really like that video because um, I deal with. I'm gonna stop sharing. I deal with a lot of situations where the wrong analyst is in charge. And you really don't need a whole lot of complex Excel, but you do need people who know how to think, and that's a good demonstration of how to think. And um, what other news is there? That um, all right? So I uh, made my final edits on Gorilla Data Analysis version two. Um, turned it back over to Bill for his final, you know. Magic, and then uh, I'll go to the printer in March to be released in April. And I'm starting to write a new book, Full Contact Data Management. That's uh, cool. scheduled to be available in October because, and I'm going to focus on data cleansing, exposing crap data, and Showing this skill as the sport that it is. So you got to see how to uh, package a helmet with the book so that people are ready. And of course, uh, Jordan, Rick, and I will be speaking at the BAC, the Business uh, Analytics Conference in April. And then, um, yeah, I'll be. Uh, Telling a story at Mystery Box in February next month here in Portland. So that's the news that I have to share. Cool. And Sylvia, what's going on with you? Yeah. Well, uh, 2015's off to a great start. A uh, good year for training. I've got um, a couple private webinars coming up in February for large audiences, which is a little bit 
It was just going to be interesting, you know, because wrangling 20 people when they all have questions. So that'll be that'll be um, a balancing act, but I'm looking forward to that experience. Um, also, uh, coming up in, um, as you all know, Bill Jelen is writing a book uh, that will be released in September called XL40. I believe that's the, the title of the book. And uh, yours truly has entered into a little partnership with Bill to provide a book, uh, a bonus book, that will be a part of that release. Mm -hmm. um, and the working title of that book is The Excel Lover's Guide to Drinking. And mm -hmm. I don't mean tea or tap water. Definitely. So we are um, we are in the process of inventing some Excel inspired cocktails. If you have an idea for an Excel inspired cocktail, there is still time um, to submit your ideas to me, and you never know they could end up in the book. Uh, I've got a deadline of April first to get that information to Bill with the layout and the photos of all the drinks. But these are real drinks. You can make them at home. The recipe book will be there as part of the XL40 book in full Technicolor. It's um, it's very exciting. So uh, my first book will be a coffee table book of sorts, but you know, for people who like to to get drunk, not get drunk. No, just a little. It's undignified. Tipsy. Getting drunk is undignified. Universe <laughs> gave us alcohol to enjoy it. So indeed. So that's what's happening. I'm excited about it. All right, Zach and Kevin. I don't know that we came up with anything, did we? Not really. Yeah. Well, tell us about your company. Oh, yeah. Sure, you can go ahead. Uh, yeah, so uh, <coughs> our, our company name is Data Automation Professionals. Uh, website, which is under construction at the moment, Data Automation Professionals, or dataautomationpros.com. Uh Kind of a, a a new new partnership, but uh, yeah, no, it'll be a fun adventure. Do all kinds of cool automation. Data automation. And server and automating data. You got cool. data, we'll automate it. But I really like the points that you guys made because I I wanted to mention Bill's book uh, because I think that's a really cool thing. Uh, he got a lot of um, cool people supporting that, and uh, we bought in. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're definitely supportive of that too, and yep. uh, and I I really like the point that you brought up was uh, with the the data. That's always one of the hardest things to explain to people is how to structure good data too. So yeah, That's more right. power to you, brother. And yeah. tell, tell you, you know, tables. I tell you what, you know, I have this with me. This is one of the books that got in my car when I left Chicago. <laughs> yeah, Excel books that are still back in Chicago for one day when I send for them, but this is one of about four that got in the car with me, so there was room, because tables, you put stuff in tables, that's, that's the first thing you do. That's right, that's right. Yeah. Great stuff. So, what's going on with us at Excel TV? So let's take a look. We've done a few things. Um, Yep. We actually have a site that we've overhauled. Now we have Excel.tv. We see that we we are doing a new design on the site. There's going to be changes as time goes on, but take a look, check it out. Remember, we are at Excel.tv. Um, I don't have it up here, but we also have our LinkedIn group, which now has 200 members. So make sure you come and be the 201st member. Really? So come and join us. Now there's one other thing that we have going on. Um, well, we don't have it going on, but that I wanted to mention. Our friend uh, Petros, friend of the show, is, has an Indiegogo project. Um, he says, help me make VBA a more secure programming language, so make sure to check that out on Indiegogo.com, and we'll have a link um, for that uh, later this week. So let's jump back to me. So we had a great episode tonight, a lot of, a lot of fun, a lot of trivia, a lot of debates. Um, I guess I'm trying to think how Rick does this. So everyone <laughs> says goodbye. Do we do a round robin? I can't quite remember. So um, bye. <laughs> yes, bye everyone. No, this was actually it's a great episode. For us, for episode uh, 23. We're happy you joined us. It said there were several viewers down down below. So this is one of our best episodes, and I'm glad everyone came. Thanks to uh, Sylvia for the 
terrific game, and thanks to our uh, guests, uh, Zach and Kevin. Kevin, we'll probably have to have you on um, and do our regular show at some point, so we'll talk to you about that. But thanks to everyone, and, you know, if you're covered in a lot of snow, stay warm. Uh, join us for Episode 23 next time. All right.